What is going on, Gamer Nation? Active Bunny Foo Foo is back. I am back. We are playing some more Skyrim. This is my third session, I think. Sitting down, playing. Uh, I soul. No longer hunger, grow weary, or feel anything but loneliness. That's weird. Okay, you're creepy. Uh, what's our mission? This is uh, locate. Valer I'm not even gonna try to pronounce your name. Fuck that. All right. Whoa. Is this a realm of oblivion? The screams, One of them? They pierce my mind. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I want in. There's glowy things in there and I want to touch them. Let me in, bastards. Hey there, buddy. I live in a dark world where no light shines through. Whoa, cool. Wow, so bright. Oh god. Yeah. Wow, I get raped. Raped. Go over here. This is awesome. This is just really awesome. Really long walk though, but it's still awesome. Oh, what's this? The little house or oh, it's the wall. Okay. That looks so cool. That's down. Damn, are we there yet? Whoa. All right then. This is scary. <laughs> it's creepy. Oh, we're almost there. Ajo. I can't. What's up? Guess I have to wait for her. I thought so. Mother. Maker. It can't be. Serana. Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? Uh huh. You've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost I'm your mind? I'm not body? just a stranger. You. Come forward. I would speak with you. Okay. So, how is it come Don't to hurt pass me. that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Uh. I'm here for. I'm safe. thinking you're safe. You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has Actually, sacrificed no. everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. So I'm here you for the Elder Scroll. I have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone. The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. Huh. When I fled Castle Volgahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. Want it? The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Oh, that's a pretty interesting reward for sex. Um... Now this you're one. beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, 
and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying Harkon means to kill her? Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon. The tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I don't like that idea. She's hot. I would never and allow that to happen. How exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? Uh, I'll kill Harkin. If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? Our Serena's all being this. Or our plight. Whatever. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana believes in me. Why won't you? Serana? A stranger may call herself vampire, but she knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to her? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. Damn. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your <laughs> role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Probably Maybe we not. Don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If yeah, you, you want bitch. the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Yay. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. You have the Elder Scroll with you? I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. What do we need to we do? We need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. We'll return soon to return. Blah. There's a dragon that calls itself Durnavir roaming the camp. What? Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Well, shit. Uh, if I leave the Soul Cairn, can I safely return? As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it. And in its place, a bit of the soul cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Oh, that's creepy. Be careful. All right, so murder time. Let's uh look at the map and see which one's closest. Right after it's done, not of saving. That is. Oh, hi. How are you guys? You enjoyed the series so far? I hope you guys are. I hope you guys are sticking around. Alright. Current location. There is no map for my current location. So, whatever. Let's go. He is ridiculous. He's decked out in dragon armor, for one. Heavy dragon armor. And is just redonk. So, let's see if I can get behind him. I can. Alright. I'm gonna switch back.
All right. Let's wait real quick to get my health back. Save is done. Pull up my daggers. This bitch is probably going to blow my cover, but that's fine. Oh my goose eggs. He's ready. He is ready. Look at him. He looks in Great. Great. You fight her. And I'm gonna... <coughs> oh god. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. Um... Uh... Slow time. Shields. Where's the shield? 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 Okay. Totally got this. You beat your shield while I smack you in the back. Yes. Take it. Oh my god, that one hit. Took out like all of my health. Die, yes! Like that? Huh? Oh, it disappears. Ghostly remains. Ooh, a soul gem. Dragon bone mace. Don't need that. Thanks for offering. Alright, let's move to the next one. Uh, you know, seeing how that was actually incre easier than I thought it was going to be. Kind of impressed. Oh, look at that. You mad, bro? Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. All right, speak. I thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. Um, why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. Hmm. I awesome. therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Found you equally Your worthy. Words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Really? Try to kill me, and then you're gonna want something from me. For countless years, I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. What's stopping you? I fear you? that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. That kind of sucks. I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally. And teach you my thum. Huh, so I get another dragon to call in? Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. 
I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Learn the first word of his shout. Got it. Well, thank you, sir. Very helpful. Oops, wrong one. Get all three words. Hear my voice and come forth from the soul cairn and summon you in my time of need. So it's just another dragon to call, like, um, uh, what's his face? This one. Odava King. Odaving or something like that. So, same thing. That's cool. But he's, uh, he has the different abilities, so that's also cool. Do I not, do I have a potion or anything that'll give me extra magicka? Oh, this! Perfect! And now... I can... do this. Yes! Oh my god. You look incredible. Let me ride you. Yes! I am a god. I'm awesome. This is the greatest horse ever. He's on fire! Ah! Oh, do I have to? No. What the fuck shit is going on? Very nice, we are back. Yay, an achievement unlocked. I win.